Teacher Talking Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in today, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, the 2023 Basketball Hall of Fame Enshrinement Ceremony will take place. Congratulations to the class of 2023, which features four first ballot former NBA players. So it got me to thinking, where would the 2023 class rank amongst all-time basketball Hall of Fame classes. For these, I'm only looking at the NBA players, or in some cases, ABA as well. And I decided to rank my top 10. The first basketball Hall of Fame class was enshrined in 1959. So in my eyes, these are the top 10 classes that have been enshrined when it comes to NBA slash ABA. Let's get started. We'll go in descending order. And when you see player names, they're just in alphabetic order by last name. Tenth, we're going to go with the 1987 class. Uh, three main headliners, Rick Barry, Walt Clyde Frazier, Pistol Pete Maravich. Maravich, one of the game's elite scorers. Rick Barry, most known for his underhanded free throws, but was an excellent scorer as well. ABA legend, won a title with the Warriors. Walt Clyde Frazier. One of the great point guards in the 70s won two titles with the Knicks. Ninth, let's go 2010, led by the mailman Cara Malone and Scotty Pippen. Gus Johnson was also one of the better rebounders in the 60s. Dennis Johnson, people were screaming from the rooftop for him to get in for a while. For a while until he finally did, but Carl Malone, Scottie Pippen, both part of the Dream Team 1992. Malone still the NBA's third all-time leading scorer. Scottie Pippen won six titles with the Bulls. Eighth, I am going to go with 2018. Uh, Dino Raj only played a couple of seasons with the Celtics, mostly overseas, but Ray Allen, uh, second all-time in three-pointers made, one of the um, most memorable three-pointers in the finals against the Spurs. Mo Cheeks, one of the great defensive point guards, won a title with the 76ers. Grant Hill, what his career could have been, but he still had a very lengthy career. And Jason Kidd and Steve Nash, two of the top point guards in the 90s, 2000s. Of course, Nash won back-to-back -back MVP. Seventh, I'm going to go with 1993. Six players um, enshrined. Led by Dr. J. Julius Irving, maybe the all-time greatest player in ABA history, uh, with no slouch in the NBA as well, winning a title with the 76ers. Bill Walton, another what-if story, but he still won an MVP and easily the best player on a Portland Trailblazers team that won the NBA championship. Walt Bellamy put up some amazing numbers. Dan Issel, another ABA superstar. Uh, Calvin Murphy, great shooter. Sixth. Let's go with 2016. Zelmo Beatty was enshrined posthumously. Um, Yao Ming, another guy who had his injury problems, but um, definitely one of the game's better centers in the 2000s. Two headliners, of course, Allen Iverson, former MVP, and the Diesel Shaq, one of the most dominant players in NBA history. Fifth, I'm going to go with 2008. Adrian Dantley. I don't know why it took him so long to be enshrined. One of the game's best scorers in the 1980s. And then two guys who could probably be considered top eight centers in NBA history. The dream, Akeem Olajuwon, won back-to-back -back NBA Finals with the Rockets. And, of course, Patrick Ewing, one of the most historic figures in New York Knicks history. Fourth, and I really thought hard about putting them third, but I stuck at fourth. That is this year's class. Pau Gasol, Dirk Nowitzki, Tony Parker, and Dwayne Wade. Of course, all four, as I mentioned, first ballot Hall of Famers. All four have at least one ring. Dirk Nowitzki won an MVP, best player in Mavs history. Dwayne Wade, many consider him to be the best player in Miami Heat history. Tony Parker and Pau Gasol won titles with the Spurs and Lakers, respectively. Four well-deserving first ballot Hall of Famers, and I was really close to putting them third, but who I put third was 1980, was a class of three, the big O, Oscar Robertson, first player to average a triple-double, um, arguably a top three, top four point guard in NBA history, Jerry West, the logo, 
Yes, I know he went 1-8 and eight in the finals, but they were facing ridiculously good Boston Celtics team. Jerry West was an incredible scorer and passer um, in the 1960s-70s. And Jerry Lucas, one of the game's better rebounders in uh, the 70s. Second, 2020, Kobe Bryant. Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, again, three, no doubt, first ballot Hall of Famers. Many consider Kobe and Tim Duncan to be top 10 players of all time, while Kevin Garnett is probably in that top 25-ish range, uh, but two, three historic players um, in league history. Um, only one can beat them. That is 2009. I talked about that original dream team. Probably the most historic team in basketball history. Well, this class enshrined three players from that team. Michael Jordan, David Robinson, and John Stockton. Michael Jordan, of course, seen by many as the GOAT in NBA history. Six titles, six finals, MVPs with the Bulls. The Admiral David Robinson won two titles with the Spurs. Former league MVP, won Defensive Player of the Year. And John Stockton, the all-time leader in assists and steals, so that is going to be a tough class to ever beat out. Um, you know, maybe if, uh, let's say, LeBron James, Steph Curry, and Chris Paul were all to retire the same year, then maybe they could uh, surpass them, but I would have to think about that. Uh, there's a couple two-person classes I thought about including. That is 1971 saw Bob Cousy and Bob Pettit get inducted. And 1995, the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Vern Mickelson. Also considered 1990, which saw Earl the Pearl Monroe, Dave Bing, Elgin Hayes, Elvin Hayes, sorry, and Neil Johnston. So what do you guys think? Do you agree that 2009 is the best Hall of Fame class for basketball when it comes to NBA? Um... What do you agree with in the rankings? What do you disagree with? Let me know in the comments. Where would you rank this 2023 class? Would you have put them third, second, fourth like I did? Let me know. Anyhow, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.